Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. So what I'm about to show you is probably the backbone to this uh, trading system uh, that I'm working on. And I've shown these uh, samples and videos before and they uh, currently already exist. I'm just testing them, doing a recap of where I'm at with things. And remember, this is what we call a message bus or a message queue, enabling me to communicate with interactive brokers using the Trader Workstation software being able to push data into Redis, uh, my backend, NoSQL database, and then be able to use a client like a Python script and be able to retrieve that data. So that's why we call it a message queue. So if you come under my playlist here under uh, Interactive Brokers and you do a search for Redis, you're going to be looking for this particular video. And the source code that I have available is only available for my Quant Leap members. I posted this a few months ago. So here are NetBeans, this is a Java. Um, and basically what it's doing is it's using the, um, the Java test client and it's pushing data into Redis. So it's interfacing with the TWS it's running. Uh, it's gonna create, it's gonna open up a new contract that it's gonna watch the data. Uh, in this case, it's, it's the euro. And basically what's going to happen is, it's going to, like I said, it's going to communicate with TWS. And again, remember, always a standard. When you're configuring TWS, you got to go to classic TWS, go to configure, uh, enable ActiveX, and if you want, unclick this read-only API. And what will happen is, once you get the source code running, uh, you should be able to get it working. So um, this is a modified hack version of Redis. So what it's doing right here is in the source code, it's here it's opening up the, the contract. In this case, it's going to watch the euro against the USD. And uh, essentially, the cool part about it, it's uh, right here, it's communicating with TWS, getting the latest tick data and once it gets the latest tick data it's going to push that latest tick into redis and then here in this output in this console what you're going to get is the latest um, data that is in my redis so in order for this to run you obviously need to have redis running in the background in this case i'm using all the defaults ports a whole nine yards so my java will be able to uh, connect into the Redis it's running. And at the other end, what we have here is we've got our Python um, interpreter running. So let me just quit this. Okay, so this is my interpreter. This is my Redis client. So I'm gonna quit this. I'm gonna relaunch this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do this exact same line as you have here at the L range. So it's gonna do an L range on the Euro in the um, collection or list. And it's gonna grab the latest uh, uh, latest uh, 10 that have been pushed into Redis, which would be obviously these guys. So if I go into um, my, first my client test here, the Redis client, so we're just going to do a simple L range of, uh, I think it's 0, 0, 10. That's the latest. So it's, it, it is the latest. 1, 2, 6, 9. If I do that, here's the latest of 1, 2, 6, 8, 5. Okay, so again, this, I'm going to load up my Python interpreter. Here it is, uh, 2.711. What we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, but we've got to set up some uh, code first. So because I am using the um, this package here called Redis Pi, it's all preloaded. I've got a video on that, how to set it up right here, uh, this video under my Python attack playlist. I'll put all these uh, videos uh, together and, and URLs, uh, but as I said, you won't be able to get the source code for this hack version called IB Redis is only available for my um, uh, Quant Leap members. So once we got that running, we've got um, this video to demonstrate how to uh, retrieve the data. 
and set up our using our our Redis uh, Pi package. So that's already set up. So let me just show you the initial stuff we're going to do. So we're going to go to our terminal and uh, I'm going to minimize this guy to the Redis server. And I'm just going to do a quick import of Redis the package. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do an L range. And that's as defined here. Uh, so we're going to use this function. So we're going to grab the list, start and end. A little different than we did it up here in the Redis client. I forgot a line. So we've got, we've got to do our usual import uh, of Redis in, in, in Python here. Now we have to do this line that I forgot to create our Redis connect session. Remember, that's all default that I'm using here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do our L range. L range. Zero, zero, one. So that will be 1265. Let's see what our latest. Uh, yeah, so there we go. So that's on the client side right here is 12675, which is the latest. And let's see if that will show up. Yep, there we go. 1268, 1285 is the latest. Yeah, so it is working. 1295. Cool. So that's our message queue for there. Um, next step is to get uh, the Redis client or a process that will take what's currently in Redis and be able to export it into some kind of CSV text file or a uh, a JSON protocol or something like that. Okay, so let's go. Uh, I'll see you hopefully in another video. Talk to you later.